okay friends welcome to today's video today we are going to see euclidean geometry part one of 25 okay we are going to see arc code secant tangent segment and sector okay what is an arc of a circle an arc of a circle is any piece of the curve which makes the circle okay an arc of a circle is any piece of the curve which makes a circle. So if you have a circle, an arc, let me show you, is any piece. It can be this, or this, or this, or this, or this, or this. Okay, so an arc of a circle is any piece of the curve this is a curve an arc of a circle is any piece of the curve which makes a circle so when you compare let's say you have this small arc can you see the one in pink as compared to the one in black this is smaller so you are going to call this a minor arc because this is smaller as compared to the one in black so this is a minor arc you can also have something like this if you have this in pink this is larger than the one in black can you see the one in pink is larger than the one in black so this is going to be a major arc okay major arc we carry on now what is a code a code of a circle is any straight line drawn across a circle beginning and ending on the curve making the circle and a code which passes through the center is also a diameter okay a code which passes through the center is also a diameter so let's see if you have a circle like this, this is a code, this is also a code, and this is also a code. You can see from the definition a code of a circle is any straight line drawn across a circle, beginning and ending on the curve making the circle. Okay, beginning and ending on the curve making the circle so this is a code and this is also a code and this is also a code okay you can also have a code passing through the center okay like this so this is a code and it is also a diameter a line extending beyond the circle is a secant okay a line extending beyond the circle is a secant what is a secant a secant is a line which cuts across a circle at two points so if you extend a code now it's going to be a secant okay so let's say you have a circle and you have this line you can see it's extending okay extending beyond the circle you can see beyond beyond now this is a secant okay which is a line which cuts across a circle at two points okay one two so this is a secant okay you can also have it passing through the center like this this is a secant so a cord is part of a secant okay a cord is part of a secant let's say you have this you have the secant a b and you can have a code c d okay so code c d is part of the secant a b okay this is what we said here a code is part of a secant so code c d code c d is part of the secant a b okay let's move on
Now we are going to see tangent. Okay. A tangent to a circle is a line which touches the circle at one point only. And a tangent to a circle is always perpendicular to the radius or always perpendicular to the diameter. Okay. So you have a circle and you have this radius and you have a tangent touching this circle, right? A tangent touching this circle at one point. This is the point of contact. So the angle formed by the tangent and the radius is always 90 degrees. So this is what the perpendicular, okay? The tangent is perpendicular to the radius, meaning the angle between them is equal to 90 degrees. You can have a diameter and you have a tangent. Remember, a diameter is made up of two radii. You can see this is a radius and this is another radius. So this is the point of contact of the diameter and this tangent. Okay, this is the point of contact. The angle formed there is equal to 90 degrees. Okay, so a tangent to a circle is always perpendicular to the radius or perpendicular to the diameter. Okay, now a segment. A segment of a circle is the shape enclosed between a coat and a neck. Okay, a segment of a circle is the shape enclosed between a coat and a neck. Okay, let's say you have this a circle and a coat. Okay, so this shape, this shape, or this shape is known as a segment. So if we choose this, this is a segment in blue. This is also a segment in white. So this is smaller as compared to this. The one in blue is smaller as compared to this. So we are going to call it a minor segment. Okay, minor segment. Okay, you can also have this. If you choose this, the big one, the one in blue is larger than the one in white. So this is going to be a major segment. You can also have this with a cord passing through the center. Okay, a diameter. Now, this is a semicircle. Okay, and this is also a semicircle. We can choose this part or this part. So this is a semicircle. So a semicircle is one half of a circle made by cutting along a diameter. Okay, now a sector. A sector of a circle is the shape enclosed between an arc and its two radii. Okay, you have this. Okay. Two radii, right? One radius and another radius, and you have a knack. So this will be a minor sector because this is smaller as compared to this, the one in white. Okay, this is smaller. So we are going to call it minor. Okay, minor sector. If you have this, if you choose this, this is larger than the one in white okay this is larger than the one in white so we are going to call this a major sector we are done with part one of 25 please check for part two of 25 <laughs>